Welcome back to the LTM podcast powered by Slipstream Auto Sports. We're your hosts, Daniel and Alex, and this is, of course, our F1 debrief. And uh, tonight we'll be reviewing the Chinese Grand Prix. Alex, how you going, mate? Yeah, not bad. Hopefully we don't get uh, banned from that, from saying Chinese, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Had some issues with that this week. Yep. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Not too bad. The racing was pretty, eh. It, yeah, it was, um, it's sort of what we expect, eh? Yeah, we expect that every week. Yeah, exactly. uh, unfortunately, that is Formula One. You're not really shocked anymore. No, um, but yeah. But the thing is, at the, least behind Verstappen was all right. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is, the racing might have not been as epic. Um, however, there are some yeah. stories from the weekend, though. There's some um, decent amount of stories, and uh, starting off with a very wet qualifying, um, sprint qualifying, I believe it was, is when. Uh, Lando Norris got his time deleted only for it to come back. So that was a the weekend started off yeah. very weirdly. That was very odd. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, oh, well. and then also Lewis Hamilton, he had a, he had a great start to the weekend. Uh, he was pretty decent in the sprint race. He started um, at the front. Uh, he got the, didn't he get the early lead? Yeah, yeah, because La- that's right. Because Lando decided to go to a, use a different layout and ran. He super- drove to Beijing. He yeah, he ran super wide into turn one for some reason, and he, again he just shoots himself in the foot and misses out on uh, on a win. In saying that, though, Max Verstappen was unbeatable this weekend, um, which was crazy. But over, other than that, though, the sprint race. Remain fairly calm. It was nothing really happened. Um, have you got anything no. to say about the sprint race? Not really much, except for the battle on lap sixteen with Sainz and Alonso that gave Perez the podium, mm. and then the Ferrari battled that later that lap. Yeah, that's a so good. That, that was that's right. That was a pretty good battle. Yeah, that was um, the battle between the two Ferraris was interesting. Um, honestly. Mm. <laughs> Uh, what was it? Was it Sides who made some cheeky moves on, uh, on uh, Charles? Yeah, he pushed uh, pushed Leclerc off the track at the hairpin. Mm. And and uh, Charles actually, his radio was still is left on, and you can hear him saying, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than uh, that, though, the race was fairly tame. Let's have a quick breeze of uh, the results for the sprint race. Um, Max Verstappen obviously won. And then Lewis Hamilton finally is on the podium, technically, for 2024. Uh, and then we've got Sergio and then Leclerc and Sainz. That's your five. Norris ended up in P6 after getting pole position ahead of Oscar Piastri. George Russell, Zhou Guan Yu in 10th. Uh, and Kevin, Mac- yeah, Kevin Magnussen in 10th. Just a shout out to Zhou, um, technically getting a top 10 in his home Grand Prix, even though it wasn't the full proper Grand Prix. It's still really I'd cool. like to mention that. Why is the sprint not given 10 points to top 10? It doesn't make any sense. I guess it's the points cut in half, essentially. Yeah, so why don't you have 10? That's a good like point. 10 points. Well, with the potential t- change coming, uh, let's get it. That's a nice transition. So let's get into that now. Um, I think today or tomorrow, something like that, F1 teams are having a meeting. I'll put it on my TikTok. Um, Say discussing a potential change to the point system, um, with maybe points going from first to twelfth instead of tenth. Um, now that could have an effect on the sprint races because, of course, obviously at the moment is first to eighth for the sprint. Uh, in my opinion, though, um, I want your thoughts on this too, Alex. I reckon points should be given to every position because as, if you finish a Grand Prix, you should at least get a point. I think it does make it. Yeah, no, I, I agree, and it should be. I don't know. I don't know what the points would actually be if it just be twenty to one, or you know maybe forty to. I don't know. Look, you definitely ruined the tradition of the point system mm. if you did that. However, I think it would give teams like Williams, like even Sauber, 
a chance to not finish last mm. because, like we said, Joe Gwen, you in the sprint finished ninth, and uh, Bottas finished twelfth. So, mm. like, I was I'm not saying that they'll get points in the sprint, and their race wasn't great. But let's look at uh, Alpine, for example. Couldn't even qualify off the back row, and they finished eleventh and thirteenth in the main race. Like, you know how many points they would get? Yeah. And I think personally, I was watching, I was actually watching the ninth episode of Draft to Survive yesterday. Hmm. I know I'm a bit delayed. Um, and just having the the stress of not like Al- Alpha Terry at that point didn't have any points or whatever. And the stress of that not having any points hmm. in a whole championship is stupid. Yeah. Right. And yeah, like I think, I think it would make for a better championship battle as well if they had um, points for everyone. Well, you make a good point because we saw in, I think it was Japan last year, I believe. It was definitely last year, but Sergio Perez, remember when he went in the pits and then he went back out again? I need to go back in the pits, but I reckon if everyone had points, there would be more of an incentive to finish the Grand Prix because lately a lot of the times when there's an issue, they just decide to retire the car because obviously points in Formula One, as yeah, it's fantastic, but it's also financially beneficial for them. Um, yeah, they- and Bryce just made a good point in the TikTok chat saying like, you remember how emotional Russell got finishing ninth? I think it was for Williams mm. in the half. That was in the half points race too, wasn't it? Even- yeah. yeah, was it? I can't remember. Was, um, where was that? You know, uh, a spa, wasn't it? Yeah, a wet sp- yeah, 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 I think it was. Or was that the P2 one where he qualified second and the race never happened? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I remember the memes, that's all I remember. Yeah. Um, And yeah, he was upset or emotionally excited about getting points. Mm. So that would be lost. Mm. Right. But I think, like, it's the only... I don't know what F2 and F3 do, but I, it is, it's the only motorsport category where you don't get any points. Well, MotoGP does top 15. Hmm. Well, even that's so still maybe better. Can look at that. Even the top 15 could work. Because um, a lot of people actually on the TikTok did say a lot of the battle pack, um, a lot of battling is actually 13th and 14th, that, that little p- battle there. Agreed. Um, and maybe with the F1 being... Uh, sorry, MotoGP media team, you know, you'd be getting bought out by the F1 media team. I don't know what it's called. Who's the, who's, Lib- uh, Lib- the called? Liberty Media. That's the one. Yeah. Maybe that might spark a change. Uh, I don't know how. Well, it's just got nothing to do with the point system, but um, I think it'll bring more of an excitement because at the moment, I think the reason for this is because the top four teams are so good versus, you know, I think the gap from Mercedes... Aston Martin to well, who's next? Anybody? Yeah, really. So yeah, behind the Aston Martin gap, although they did rubbish this weekend. <laughs> um, besides that gap, anyone can finish. Only what tenth? Tenth is the lot unless Lance Stroll keeps crashing the people, which we'll talk about later. <laughs> um, but apart from that, you know, you can only finish ninth or tenth. Yeah, exactly, and eleventh. Yeah feels like a massive loss because you're so close to the points yet you it's just a kick in the guts sort of thing yeah um, the, the you know when when Liam Lawson finished i think it was ninth in singapore mm. it got him from i think last to second to last and then when ricardo finished sixth no uh, sorry he got six points i can't remember which position he finished in mexico they went from ninth to seventh in the championship in one race mm. Um, I just uh, want to make a yeah. shout out. Uh, Lidsville, he he said he loves the McLaughlin picture. Oh, <laughs> thanks, mate. I've got a cardboard. No, I think I'm putting in the cupboard. I have a cardboard cut up. You put Scotty McLaughlin in the cupboard, everyone. <laughs> yeah, he's back there. He kept hit... creeping out my family. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I first got him, I like, walked in my room and everyone was like, oh, shit, and like got scared. <laughs> it is life size. By the way, for That's context, guys, way. it's a life-size cardboard cutout. Um, yeah, it's and my height. Originally, how he had this room laid out, as you would walk in, you, you, that's the first thing you would see. 
Yeah, literally. Um, well, actually, it's really just mentioned diecast. I'll just turn the camera around. There are some in that cupboard. So, yeah, I've I do got, have more. I've got one. I've got one, and I'm yeah, proud of it. He's just got that one. My Kostecki one. <laughs> Um, yeah. Bryce says Yuki got like five P11s. Yeah, that that's a good example there. The amount of <laughs> P11s Yuki got last year was ridiculous. Um, yeah, and Albon's got a few in the past too. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Lizville says he's got a couple die casts at home as well. Now uh, they're very cool, very detailed. I couldn't b- believe how detailed that one was. But um, back to Formula yeah. 1, oh, yeah, okay. because the point system, the one that we've got now has been going around since 2010, and before that we had the top eight, and before that, I think in 1991, it was when it was introduced, it was the top six. Um, yeah, well, yeah, top, yeah, back in the day when uh, the Senna days, yeah, so, so. Like everything else in life, everything's just getting adapted to yeah, people so, instead of making it hard. In my opinion, this is a completely normal change. It's just a, just how the pattern's going. I can see a 12th this happening next year. But personally, I would love to see maybe the, at least top 15 get points. Because I feel like even one point for like 10th is, just doesn't feel right. Um, oh no, I, Yeah, I, but also the fact, the fact of what I said before, you know, they get these bottom 16s fighting for one point. Mm. And who got, it, who got it this week? Hulkenberg. You know, so like you have those. Yeah, you're literally fighting for one position because you got all Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, both Mercedes, just. And then the uh, Lance Stroll wasn't there. But if Lance Stroll finishes in the top 10, then none of the teams get points. Yeah. So So, I kind of get why they're complaining about it, and I would too. I'm not really opposed to um, having all drivers get a point. Well, yeah, no. I, see, I personally like it. I personally want everyone at least, even if it's a little bit. Like, because we see it in supercars, right? I just want, I just don't want to see uh, teams just retiring their car because they're guaranteed not getting points. I want them to s- try to finish the Grand Prix. I never thought about that. That's a good point. That's the That's the only reason why I think they should do it. Um, Although I reckon if they do all 20 points, if you don't finish, you get nothing. Good point. So let's say that 17 cars finish, mm. those bottom three won't get any points, and then the highest point score would be one, two, four points. Um, Jared Crabb here says RB Visa not as competitive as late last year. Mexico was P4 in qualifying. Yeah, they, they've had a rough start to the year, and they've definitely had a rough one this time around. We'll get into that. Uh, Bryce says he has a full lounge corner in the house. A bit jealous. Uh, Lidsville cool. says, yeah, I think it'll be good to have more drivers getting points. We'll make it for uh, better for teams and drivers. Yeah, like like we said before, um, the the incentive of just fi- p- pursuing to finish that Grand Prix. And have you got the yeah. sprint results handy for you? Uh, Lids- I do, yeah. All right, if you want to read through the rest of them while I uh, write Lidsville's name down here, because he sent us a tiny diny on uh, YouTube. Where did on you TikTok. get up to? Uh, Joe Guanyu. So PE9. Uh, Joe Guanyu was 9, Magnus 10th, Ricardo 11th, Bottas 12th. Good to see him actually finish the race. Um, Ocon 13th, Stroll, our best friend, in 14th, Gasly. 15th, Sonoda. So that's been Sonoda finished behind both Alpines. Yeah, he had a rough um, weekend. So that, car, that car is not very good. Speaking of rough weekends, Williams, oh boy. Uh, Albon, 17th, Sargent, 18th, Hulkenberg, 19th. And Alonso ended up getting a puncture because of that battle. Mm. Um, so he had to pit and came last. Mm. But. Uh... Yeah, thanks, by the way, Lidsville, for that, mate. Appreciate it. Um, if you are watching live on TikTok, uh, and also for future reference, if you want to send a gift or a subscribe, you, uh, you'll you get your name listed here. Uh, if you subscribe, however, your name will be featured on every description we make for our podcast, and also a little pop-up will appear as well. Uh, so, for example, this will be re- re-uploaded tomorrow, and a fancy little pop-up will appear there. But speaking of Williams... Um, Don't drop that. I'll try not to. I've done it too many times. Uh, 
the rumor about Logan Sargent potentially losing his seat after Miami in favor for a young Kimi Antonelli. What do you reckon? Oh, do you reckon he'll be ready? He's an F three or two, two F two. Okay. But the thing is, look, I don't, I don't really know much about him. I heard he's the next bloody Ed yeah. Senna, oh. Ed Senna, Max Verstappen, bloody Seb Battle, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I think look, I think that's better than chucking him in the Mercedes next year for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I reckon it'd be alright. Why not? They got nothing. They got nothing to lose. Not like Logan's going to do any better. Mm. Well, sorry, not that Kimmy can do any worse. Well, you know. That's true. Um, personally, though, Williams, by all means, Williams, yes, Kimmy, you know, if they want to get rid of Sergeant, by all means. But I want, I would much prefer Kimmy to cook in F2 for the rest of the year, you know, to get more experience. Because, one, he's not even 18 yet, so he's legally not allowed to race in F1 yet. F1 has a rule where you have to be 18 or older, so he has to get permission by from the FIA to actually do that. Um, because it's Max be- race before it, I think I, they changed the rule after that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I can't remember what year they did that, but personally, I would love to see him see out the rest of the F2 season and then jump in the Williams next year. Um, I personally would prefer that. I reckon they'll give him some more experience. Um, because we've have seen some drivers get in there and who do well in Formula Two and to do crap in Formula One. We have seen that. When they're not ready, like Nick DeVries, for example. Um, well, yeah. I mean, he didn't have a great car. Like Williams, yeah, he did well, but when with that Alpha Tower at the time, it just like it just shows maybe he should just wait a bit. And uh, that's my opinion there. Yeah, apparently Danny might lose his seat as well. Hopefully, that's not the case. Speaking of that, though, unfortunately, he's been given a three place grid penalty for Miami, um, because of a safety car infringement. Um, and we'll get into that shortly. Let's get into the race itself. By the way, also Bryce has just said that his sister and best mates, uh, his sister is best mates with Daniel. I think that's how I read it. So tell your sister I'm jealous. Right. Let's get into the race, the main Grand Prix. So, Oh, uh, hang on. no, go up in the comments. I forgot about that. Scotty James is married to Joel. Is it? Is it his sister? Lance Joel's sister, I think he's married to. Oh, I've gone out of yeah. our own bloody life. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I don't no, really, I, know, I personally don't know the full, full thing about that, to be honest. Oh. I remember seeing something about it. I think he's married to Stroll's sister. Yeah, right. Yeah, Quick okay. Or... Yeah. Did I just disappear? Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> Everyone, moment of silence for Alex. He's... Uh... Hang on, <laughs> I'm still there. But, uh, yeah, no, that's interesting. But while you're in the cosmos, let's go through the results. So, Max Verstappen. Yeah, he is. P1. Yeah. Um, he... He once he took off, he was gone. Uh, we didn't see him for the rest of the Grand Prix, pretty much. Lando Norris, shout out to him to get a P two. He did rather well. Um, finally, and I think we said this in predictions last time. Um, we finally haven't got a one two result this time around. We finally got a split result in favor with Lando Norris, and then um, Sergio Perez is third. Um, quiet achiever there. Charles Leclerc finished fourth ahead of Carlos Sainz in fifth. Um, they might have a blue car for Miami. Um, that would be rather interesting. You're not on board with that. <laughs> um, now, it might not be completely blue. Um, um, the only thing we have seen is the merchandise. I, I, I did see a um, a leak. A I think I was on Instagram, of Instagram, on Instagram of the car. And if it's what that looks like, it looks like. Is it just a blue version of the car? Because I think I saw the same thing. Yeah, look, it's this, it's this color. Yeah. I don't hate it. At least we'll see a light blue color yeah. actually be competitive. Sorry. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you remind, yeah. remember when Cars when Lightning McQueen almost joined Dynaco and they did all those <laughs> they did them sketch? It looks like that. That's exactly it. I can't, I, I can't unsee that now. 
No. I can't unsee that. <laughs> That's incredible. It's just Dinoco. <laughs> Good chow. No, okay, so oh, no. when when uh, we do our Miami review, we can't call them Ferrari. We have to call them Dinoco. <laughs> Dinoco. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a that's got to be a clip for sure. Hundred <laughs> percent. Do it. Lids view is already on it. Yeah. Love there you it. go. I make a reel tomorrow. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, next up is George Russell in sixth, uh, the one and only Mercedes in the points this time around. And uh, then we got. No. F- yeah. Never mind. I lost Never mind. mind. <laughs> Never mind. I remember I was getting mixed up with his qualifying result. <laughs> well, his qualifying result was terrible. But exactly. Got to the point. I just gave up on Lewis. Sorry, Lewis. I think he gave up on Mercedes too, but he should be higher than that. But uh, it is what it is. Oscar Piastri is behind Fernando Alonso. I forgot to mention Fernando, the only decent uh, Aston Martin driver on the, in the field and in the points. Uh, Oscar Piastri eighth, like I said. Um, Pretty much stayed where the where, that's pretty much where he's been all weekend. I reckon um, is eighth. Like qualified fifth, and in the sprint he was yeah seventh. So mm. so yeah, he's yeah he couldn't keep up with Lando. Yeah, no, Lando did a lot better this time around. Um, and then to be fair, that was no because Oscar hasn't driven around Shanghai, but has Lando? Because no, twenty nineteen was his debut, wasn't it? Yeah, so he would have. Yeah, just that, that, that was the last one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Speaking of that, who ha- there's a lot of drivers here who hasn't haven't. Uh... Well, yeah, George Sergeant, Russell. I don't think he uh, has. Did he? Was he in the Williams no, twenty nineteen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Albon, because Albon had that crash at the last corner. That's right. Well, it'd just be Piastri, Joe, Sonoda. And Sar and Sergeant. Sonoda too though. He he wasn't there in tw- not nineteen. Twenty twenty? Yeah, so no, yeah. yeah, no, so, no. yeah right. That's that's probably why he didn't have a good weekend. No, that's a good point actually. Um and we'll we'll get into him very shortly. But uh last of the top ten finishes was Nico Hulkenberg, like we said, and then the highest an Alpine has been in a freaking long time is uh Esteban Ocon. Uh, and then we've got Albon in 12th and then Gasly in 13th. So uh, a set of blue cars there in the top th- top 11. Oh, no, the Alpons are black. Yeah, that's true. Good point. <laughs> that's a good point. It's carbon fiber. Uh, according to Lidsville, um, Piastri had damage. Um, yeah, no, he did. I remember hearing that. Yeah, and uh, Alpine... Well, they don't know when he got the damage. Yeah, I can't remember either. And Alpine is slowly getting better. Yeah, they are. They're making improvements. Um, it doesn't help oh, when um, some drama happens behind them too, though. Uh, with Zhou Guan Yu finished fourteenth uh, for his home Grand Prix, his first ever home Grand Prix. Um, did you see that he um, had it? They gave him. Um... Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, I respect. I don't think they would have done it just because it's his home Grand Prix, but because he's the only ever Chinese driver to race in China. It's a big moment. That's cool. And it's oh, it, that would have been a special feeling, just with all the. He literally there. represented his own country. He did, and he did rather well. It's not, but- like, it's not like it's not like when Lewis or Lando do it every year in Silverstone. There's like three or four drivers in the grid, and plus like there's about t- pers- there's about ten billion British drivers. Hundred percent. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I reckon, yeah. No, he he deserved that. That was really cool to see. Uh, and speaking of someone who is literally the complete opposite, Lance Stroll doesn't deserve anything. Do you know what sucks though? He actually did some good overtakes and good some some good battles at the back end of the race there. But he doesn't deserve any praise because what he did to Daniel Ricciardo. That was oh my god. Um, so if you don't know, uh, first off, Valtteri Bottas brought out the first safety car. Um, and actually, I want to quickly, before I get into the Daniel Ricciardo part, that actually pissed me off with the Valtteri Bottas thing, right? I don't know if you saw it, but it took so long for the virtual safety car to be called out. Because he... Really? Yeah, there was footage of him hopping out of his car, and they were still going... You know, it was yellow in the sector... But it wasn't a full course yellow or something like that. Like, 
he was hopping out. Something could have, if something bad happened, you know, that could have been horrible. And there's that's the reason why the virtual safety car exists is because of that is to prevent stuff like that, like with Jules Bianchi, um, ten years ago. Yeah. Um. So that wasn't a good look. But um, after that, upon when the restart happened, there I think Alonso locked up, and there was like a Constantina sort of thing. But Lance Stroll crashed into Daniel Ricciardo's rear and destroyed his chances of finally getting points in Formula One for the year. Which is which was crucial for Daniel, um, given of the rumors. Soul sniper, yeah. how you going, mate? It, it actually hurts. It stung. I it st- hurts. It hurts. Like genuinely, I just so angry. I just, and I feel for Daniel. I can't believe it. I feel for Daniel. Did you? I just, you know, the guy just needs. He just needs a break. Like. You know, not a break from racing, as in, like, he just needs to catch a break. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, like, no, <laughs> nothing is going right. Lidsville um, said how funny it was seeing Bottas on the back of the... Sc- yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was, that was yeah. funny. But, um, yeah. oh, my God. So, did you see Daniel Ricciardo's interview about it? About yeah. how he um, he actually pointed... I want to hear him swear, though. <laughs> he almost did. No, he did, actually. Oh, he, well. he, there's a bit of it, but it's not on. It's actually it's just a, yeah, it's written thing. But so what happened, right? It was actually, and also I want to talk about Oscar Piastri because his reaction was funny, and also Max's. Oh, beautiful, um, love Oscar. Yeah, um, Lance Stroll. You could, if you watch the onboard, he was literally looking at the apex. He wasn't even looking at the car ahead. Like what? I'll tell you what, he'll be a crappy. I, I he'll be a crappy think, Uber. Uh, yeah. I think Oscar's nailed it on the head. Like, oh, Lance was like, oh, yeah, it was so slow. Like, everyone was checking out. I was like, oh, that was another five other drivers. They didn't crash into each other. Yeah. You're the only one Oscar that Oscar was in the middle of it. Yeah. Oscar was in the middle of it. He, he, he was ahead of Ricardo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they touched a bit too because of it. Because of Lance. Yeah, probably just, probably just a nick, but. Yeah. Um, so that was horribly disappointing. And then Max Verstappen, right. did you see his reaction when he was re- yeah, was well. re-watching the race? He cracked up. <laughs> By the way, they need to sort someone out in the driver's briefing room. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because did you see what happened? Lando. Lando. Yeah. <laughs> he puts on the P3 hat and sits in the P1 chair. <laughs> hey, if you can't get one of them, take yeah. all of them. <laughs> At least they sat in order, at least. It was like yeah. Max, Lando, and then Perez. That yeah. was the only thing they did right. Okay. <laughs> that was, yeah, that cracked me up. That was quite funny. That means Checo would have had to wear the second hat. Yeah. I guess everyone besides Red Bull is just used to not wearing a one-two. Yeah, true. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he, he just naturally oh went for God. it. Um, Bryce says, uh, <laughs> should he get a race ban for it? Yeah. Or some because the ten second penalty that's all he got, and two uh, two license points. But Daniel Ricciardo technically oh, got did. more penalty points than him because of the three place grid penalty he's got. And <sighs> and Logan Sargent also got the same same time penalty as Logan Sargent. What am I saying? Logan hey, Sargent. <laughs> Log- I told you I'm not well. Logan Sargent got the same amount of time penalty as Lance Stroll did. For what? For a safety car infringement. I, don't, I can't even remember what it was. But it was nowhere near as severe as going up the rear of someone and ruining their race. And I feel like... You know like- how to have driver of the day? They should have idiot of the day and he would <laughs> win it every week. Oh, yeah, for sure. I still remember Genuinely, that. Like, that guy, it's just, it just bothers me, man. Like It really pisses me off. Just the fact that... The one time Ricardo's either A, not involved in a crash, or B, has good pace. He gets mm. taken out by daddy's boy over here in the bloody green Aston Martin. Look, I, I seriously wish La, um, Lawrence wouldn't own that team just for the sake of Lance not racing. Because as long I as he's there, I don't think he's going to be. a rule. No. Why would he? Why would he? Mm. Lance Stroll will be the longest serving F1 driver ever. Yeah. And not based on skill. Yeah. Um, Everybody. James, how you going, mate? How are you? 
Yeah, no, it's just Bart's annoys me. Everything about him. His head annoys me. His hair annoys me. <laughs> his belly annoys me. Everything pisses his, me off. His head annoys you. <laughs> He's got a massive head. He does. I love his and pissed he off. Never gets a haircut. I crack up at his pissed off face. Or something. I can't even make it. Um, but yeah, oh right. my god. <sighs> but uh, another person that um, ruined another day for someone, Kevin Magnuson. 16th, he uh, knocked literally on the same lap as that. He knocked out Yuki Sonoda. Just to not, I can't believe we had a double, um, technically double RB retirement on the same lap. It, was, yeah, it wasn't the same lap because I passed it. That's why I said technically. That's why I said technically. However, it was within within 40 seconds of each other. Yeah. Like within a minute. Yeah. Well, Ricardo, Ricardo stayed out, but with he literally had no diffuser. <laughs> so he wasn't yeah. going anywhere. Uh, it, no. That was heartbreaking. That was worse than um, than him losing that know, like, podium on you, in Australia. Could you, could you imagine if Magnussen and uh, Stroll were teammates? That would be a good bunch. <laughs> they just take everyone in. <laughs> yeah, they'll win. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they'll finish on zero points. They'll DNF everyone. Right? No, but they'll win because they'll knock everyone out. True. Although neither of them can qualify. No. Um, Lidsville said, do you like Albon's helmet? That might be the best helmet. I do. Ever that was say. cool. I love it's that. unbelievably cool. That was so sick. It looked so cool. Uh, did you see uh, oh, it. Ted um, actually asked him what is he going to do with it? And Albon was like, I'm going to put it on eBay. And Ted was like, no. And apparently Crofty didn't Ted like it. Crofty, what? yeah, what? Well, I think he has a thing against helmets, like different helmets. I think I don't know. I don't know what album was saying. Like um, I had to watch the race quite like with no sound. But um, no, it was a, it was a really good helmet. I really liked it. Right. Uh, nothing will beat nothing will beat Ted's um, comment about Sauber in Japan. That was the best thing I've ever heard <laughs> about the pit stops. <laughs> oh man! If anyone doesn't know what I mean by that, comment now and I'll tell you because. He, it was the biggest like shot I've ever heard in my it life, was. <laughs> and I was on live TV. <laughs> oh, that, that was funny. It technically, made in a way. If we're referencing um, Will Buxton, it did make it better. If we're what, referencing Will Buxton here, he actually turned um, Sauber's knife into a spoon. <laughs> Just from that comment alone. Yeah. Um, but uh, moving on to the other, f- the rest of the field, last of the finishes is Logan Sargent. Um, again, it's technically where he normally goes. And then the non finishes was Daniel Ricciardo, Yuki, and Valtteri Bottas, unfortunately. Um, but that is it yeah. for the Chinese yeah. Grand Prix for the race. Um, do you want to run through the championship standings? Yeah, I don't have the point numbers, but I have no, the order. No, that's all right. That's all right. It doesn't really make a difference because Verstappen's winning anyway. Um, yeah, Verstappen, Perez, Leclerc's moved up, though, I think, to third. Yeah, he's he was fourth. I believe he was fourth. I thought it was fourth and fourth. Fourth, I believe, yeah. Unless, uh, yeah, yeah. Science, I've just swapped. Um, Science, Norris, Piastri, Russell, Alonso, Hamilton, unfortunately, Stroll is still in the top ten. Um. <laughs> I oh, just don't even ask. Um, <laughs> Sonoda, 11th. Oliver Behrman is still 12th. He's doing well staying uh, there. I genuinely think he will still be top 15 by the end of the year. Oh, for and sure. race one race. For sure. Um, Hulkenberg, 13th. 14th, Magnussen. Albon, 15th. And then I'm pretty sure from here on out, no one scored points. Yeah. Yeah, from Albon onwards. The order doesn't make a difference. So. No, but uh, Logan Sargent is 21st. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah 20th right. place uh, field and he's 21st. Although well, last year was 22nd, so it could be worse. Fair enough. That's a good valid point. And have a quick look at the constructors. Where is it? Here we are. I've got that too, if you want. Um, all right, go for it. Why not? Well, Red Bull, apparently they're winning. Still. Apparently. Um, Ferrari, yeah, fortunately. Ferrari <laughs> second, 
McLaren third, Mercedes fourth, Aston Martin fifth, RB sixth, Haas seventh, um, Williams eighth, Alpine, and then Sauber. It's funny that RB is still in front of Haas because only Sonoda scored points. Now, I'm pretty sure Haas, haven't they finished in the points every race? Like, yeah, yeah, no, I reckon. Except for well, Bahrain, I don't think they, they missed out. Bahrain, I think they missed out. I don't yeah, know, Hulkenberg finished 10th, I think. Because, you know, the t- Hulkenberg finished 10th like three times in a row. No, because Jeddah, um, yeah, no, Jeddah, I oh, think no, Je- it's Jeddah. Because Magnussen, remember the, um, the massive the defense that Magnussen did on the on Yuki? On yeah, 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 okay. yeah. So it would have been from Jeddah onwards. James, great comment. Aston Martin would be third if they got a better driver. Well, anyone's better than that Canadian. Exactly. Lunatic. And unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen. Put Ricardo in there. Put Ricardo in. Mm. But yeah, it'll never happen because Daddy's boy is paying for everything. It's ridiculous. He's not. He does not deserve. I know we're being biased, but honestly, who cares at this point? Because he does not deserve a seat. Nope. Logan Sargent deserves that drive more than him. That's saying something. I probably wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> um, definitely like Valtteri Bottas, someone. Mm. I don't know. Someone who's in a crap car, yeah, and yeah. Um, Leedsville, yeah. From what I heard, Crofty and Nico did work well together. Um, it was they had a nice dynamic. I do miss Martin Brundle. I don't know. Yeah, where is he? I don't know. He, um, he disappeared. I miss his voice, mm. but. It was nice to see Nico um, there. But, uh, Nico sounded sick. Oh, by the way, did, did you write predictions from last week? No, I didn't. Well, for this race, not for this race. No, I didn't, no. Not for this one. I did, and mm. I think I got one right. One right? Or which, one... Was Max, which was Max will win. Well, that's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote Williams crash, and they didn't. That was a shock. Yeah. I wrote Alpine would, would be rubbish, and they weren't too bad. So that was not a shock. Yeah. I wrote Science P2, nowhere near. And I almost got this one right, this fifth one. Yeah. I wrote Lewis Hamilton, no points. And after qualifying, that was looking really good. <laughs> you did get so very close there. Amazing I did get very close. You did get very close. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. But, uh whatever. Yeah, right. Well, that is it. That's it for the Chinese Grand Prix for 2024. Uh, of course, it'll be, it'll be back <laughs> for another year. <laughs> what? The TQ will be better than Stroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, James coming in here with the, with the, with the facts. James coming in clutch right at the end. Well, technically, he <laughs> did give Max Verstappen the win for the 2021 season. Wink, 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 if you remember that. <laughs> I do. I for, turned it off for, before that. For all you uh, tinfoiled hat people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, he, like I said, he doesn't deserve a seat, um, Stroll. He should go. I wish, like I said, unfortunately, as long as his dad's there, I doubt he'll uh, get that seat taken away from him. Um, yeah. But see what happens, because I think, I think Honda is going to be with Aston in the future. And Yuki might end up going there, so who knows? But obviously Alonso is locked in for another two years. Um, but that might be it for him, who knows? See what happens. Yeah, exactly. One Canadian for another. There you go. <laughs> um Yeah, when they get that, that Honda engine, they are gonna be a powerhouse. Um, for sure. We've seen what Red Bull have been able to do so far with their car. Um mm. And Let's I'll, see how they go on the Ford. Yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting for sure. Um, well, next year or the year after? Next year uh, after. We had, I think we had this conversation back in uh, Jeddah. Um, yeah, let me get to this one. <laughs> yeah, um, 26 is when they're going to do it. Yeah. When's Miami? Is it two weeks? It's, in two, week? it's not this week. It's the weekend after. So, yeah. Third to the fifth. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I should, re- I should rephrase that. The race is like 45 minutes away from Miami. It's not actually in Miami. Yeah. Did you know that? It's not even no, in I Miami. Didn't. No, I and didn't. it's literally right in a car park. Huh. Well, there you go. 
<laughs> it reminds me of when Vegas had the Grand Prix back in the 90s. I was going to say, back, back in the November. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a. Remember yeah. when Detroit used to host one back in the day too, and Phoenix. Yeah. I miss the good old tracks. Yeah. Um. Yeah, hopefully Lidsville twenty twenty six will be a Mercedes comeback. Hopefully, fingers crossed. See what happens. No, because Lewis is in a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Oh, hang on. I did hear rumors. Um, while we're here still, and we may as well drive us on. Yeah. Um, uh, is, is science potentially going to Audi? Yeah, well, there was a two-year um, deal offered him, wasn't it? Apparently, the paycheck is insane. And it's uh, Red Bull can't even match it. Or well, I mean, they are spending all their money on Max. Mm. But, yeah, apparently the, the offer from Audi is going to be massive. So it will suck next year. And then the year after that, potentially, could be a... So contender. what? He races for stake next year or he sits out next year? Yeah. Okay. Races, races. Because as long as he doesn't miss a year of racing, I, I don't. I, I wish he still races. I want to see him there. But if Audi could be decent, then that would be a good idea. Plus, you know, money talks all the time. But his best shot would be the Mercedes, at least for next year. You know, um, who knows what happens? Yeah. But I, the thing is, I was saying to Ivan in Sydney, I was like. Do you reckon next year's driver lineup for at least eighty percent of it will be locked in for twenty twenty six? Because not many people are going to go one team one year and another team another year unless is, they get kicked out. Yeah, that's true. Unless they're in a Williams or or a Haas. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like something small. Mm. Anyway, just something to think about. No, that's All a good right. point. But uh, any yeah. final thoughts before we? Uh... Wrap our Grand Prix chat up. No, I'm just sick a lot strong. End of there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I agree. That's enough said. <laughs> yeah, enough said. No more. It's gonna make me swear. So that's enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, thanks everyone who has tuned in tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm glad we kept it under control with the Lance stuff. I yeah, it's we, PG. We can make it into MA, but let's not. <laughs> um, no, that's so bad. Yeah, James said uh, Mercedes need a refresh for sure. Yeah, exactly. Like, ever since the new regs in 22, they've just struggled so much. Um, so yep. they'll, they'll be looking for a, um, a fresh start for sure. Um, yeah, so thanks to everyone who has tuned in tonight. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys want to, by the way, this um, on YouTube and Spotify, we've recently uploaded our High Tech Oil Super Series and also our Topor Weekend Review. Um, that's available for you now. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow and give a five star rating on Spotify. It helps just the, grow the uh, podcast a lot more. And uh, yeah, also for the ones who have joined the live, thank you. Appreciate all your questions and uh, that was fun. yeah, and shout out to Lidsville for the gift as well. That was cool. Um, and like I said, this will be re-uploaded tomorrow at four pm um, on YouTube and Spotify, so you can check that out as well. If you missed anything. Uh, and then stay tuned. Next week, we'll have our motorsport report. We'll be covering uh, Aussie super Superbikes, IndyCar, NASCAR, and some other stuff. Formula E, that's it. Um, no F1 chat, no supercar chat, unless we, no. unless something comes up. But uh, And then also, after that, stay tuned for our Miami review, which will be live and stuff. So a bit yes. of a more of a calmer week next week for LTM. But yeah, a bit of a break. Well, yeah. if... Ish, um, ish. But we'll still be highly active on TikTok, uh, keeping up with all the news and stuff and the review, um, sorry, the reels and live streams and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that next week. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, who has tuned in. Thanks, Alex, for the podcast and uh, keeping it PG. And, uh, yeah, see you all next time. Bye for now. See ya.